The streets and music is two different things. And then what the audience essentially doing is saying, go on, do it, do it, do it, do it, until someone gets stabbed or shot. If it weren't for music and the way out it gave me, like the, the options, I'd be doing road completely, like I'd just be on the road. Cause I haven't been showed no other way. Big bat, you know she attractive. He didn't want corn, but I slapped him. But look on and he's still acting. Didn't do no poking, bear scratching. Look, his basic rules, there's no lacking. Active bat, my nagging and scratching. Push it in and then twist it. Itching the way I'm living is living. Look, it's T face on tech. There's been a wave of killings amongst young people in London this year and it's the UK's drill music scene which is in the spotlight with a lot of focus on the content of the lyrics. Critics say artists are glamorising drugs and gang violence amongst young people. As I speak, gangs are posting videos and music online that document, encourage and glamorise violence and goad and threaten others. And the repercussions can be deadly. Like many people in the music scene, Croydon-based artist T-Face thinks drill music is being wrongfully blamed for violence on the streets. Obviously, I'm hearing the speculation around people thinking that drill music is the cause when it's actually an escape route. All it's doing is televising it, it's telling you what's happening because you guys just don't know. It would make sense for the media to just go, yeah, yeah, look, look over there. There's crime, there's blacks, there's the Hispanics or whatever. They're over there making this kind of music and this is what's happening in those areas. So they're just pointing the finger, really. I went to a university in Birmingham to visit criminologist Craig Pinkney. He did the UK's first report to why young people in gangs get into drill music. I think media do definitely contribute to this idea and concept around perpetuating a lot of the violence because they air it on their programmes. So what I'm saying is we have a lot of individuals that are in these um, industries that benefit off young people talking about their chaos. And when those young people go onto their platforms and go back to their communities and have to deal with those problems, those radio organisations don't have to deal with um, the consequences of what those individuals go through. Croydon based independent record label Finesse Forever manages some of the biggest names in the drill scene, from T Face to Skengo and AM. We managed some drill artists and whatnot recently, they went on tour. And if you look at the demographic uh, of the ethnicity that was there, it was like 70% white people. So, why, when I'm seeing all the lists, and the faces of all the dead people and whatnot. Why is it people of colour? Do you know what I mean? So really and truly it can't be drill music because otherwise there'll be a hell of white kids stabbing up each other and that. Exactly. But there isn't. The streets and music is two different things. 90% of the time, if for UK especially, this is not US where man just gets bland for no reason. Like 90 to 95% of the time, especially for the for the young people. They are dying because they're involved in something that they shouldn't be involved in. They wanna be me, so they beat me. The way that I step is way too cheeky. Back it out instantly. Don't take the piss out. If artists are being scrutinised for rapping about certain topics, why do they still put out content including this? Some content needs to be heard. That's what I'm trying to say. Some people's truth, they've been through too much pain to say, no, nah, I'm gonna hide it from the world. They've got to a certain, a substantial amount of followers to tell these followers their story not to hide and tell them about fairy tales and these things. That's not what they've been through, you know what I'm trying to say? When gang members um, upload videos and content of their behaviours on social media platforms, they have what's called an audience, and their audiences are the ones that oftentimes perpetuate the violence. Someone uploads a disrespect, the audience say, oh, they start tagging individuals in from the other group that feels disrespected. Then that group puts something then again on Instagram or Snapchat. And then what you then have is people going backwards and forth. And then what the audience is essentially doing is saying, go on, do it, do it, do it, do it, until someone gets stabbed or shot or someone dies. North London artist Poppy invited me to Tottenham to see how drill music videos are produced. Why do like music artists rap about the topics they rap about? Like, why do they rap about drugs or money or girls and stuff like that? Because that's the reality. They can't rap about nothing else. You're gonna rap about like going having a job. Yeah, you can't get a job around here like like that. You feel me? 
you're gonna rap about what you do every day, what you see every day, what's around you every day, you feel me? You actually listen to the narratives of what these young men are saying in their music videos, they're actually talking about defending themselves, they're actually talking about what they're prepared to do if someone disrespects their territory um, or environment. So for me, that means that demonstrates that those young people don't feel self in those environments. So even though that their narratives are self-destructive, even though their narratives are causing chaos in those communities, what they're talking about is a reality that society don't want to deal with. And for me, this is where we need to shift the discussion to, not just blaming and banning and censoring young people, but why really are you carrying knives? Why really are you carrying guns? And then I'll ask a deeper question, where do you get the guns from? So, what actions have been taken against Drill? Commissioner of the Met Police, Cressida Dick, has blamed Drill Music for fueling London's surge in violence. The Met have had more than 30 Drill Music videos taken off YouTube, including those of West London's 1011. Members of the group have also been banned from making music without the police's permission. Detectives say these videos explicitly threaten and incite violence. I think what will happen um, with banning Drill Music all you're going to find is young people are going to find another way in order to narrate. They're going to find another way to publicise their music. Nothing's ever stopped music. Nothing's ever stopped um, censoring certain types of music. Well, I feel like all they're doing is putting people back on the road, if I put it short and simple. Because if you take the way out, you're trapping them in. I've been following Drill for years and I've seen it get bigger and bigger despite attempts to stop the music. So what's the solution to all this? Those high governments, the MPs, what they need to do, they need to come down to the communities like this. When you're not talking to them, how are you able to say, okay, you're doing this because of this? You don't even know what's going on. These are kids at the end of the day, like, do you know what I mean? And that's what a lot of people forget, they're kids. I'm trying to just stay on the straight and narrow. I don't want to make the music make me go down the wrong path because that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to make it seem like it's a bad thing. So I'm gonna try and keep doing my music in a positive way to influence people to do the right thing.